useless. <laughs> Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and I want to check. I want to see what maybe I can give. Well, first of all, I want to grab the held item off of Pablo. Uh, put away. See if anyone else is holding anything. Oh, right. <laughs> put that away. Uh, oh, yeah. And that. Um, yeah, so I wanted to see if I could give Gracie and Cricket some items, because they could probably use them. So for you, I think... Uh... Here's my theory. I think Shellbell is actually a lot better at lower levels. So for now, I think we'll give the Shellbell to Gracie. And well, actually, no, we'll give the Quick Claw to Gracie. And we'll give the Shellbell to Cricket because I believe Cricket's already. I don't know. Gracie's faster. Uh, so yeah, never mind. We will. We will give the Shellbell. Gracie and then we'll give the quick claw to Cricket. I figured Cricket would be faster but Cricket probably evolves soon so that's probably the explanation as to why Cricket's not that fast. Also Zapfish could use an item. Maybe I should give Zapfish this shell bell because we know Zapfish is kind of slow. Uh yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll probably just give Gracie a, an, a berry then. Like an orange berry. Uh, no, this is the right. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll just give Gracie a berry. We've got plenty of orange berries. And don't have any citrus berries yet, but those aren't quite as useful at lower levels. Okay, so we are exploring. That's what we're doing. We're looking for new Pokemon like this one. Not that. No. This one. There we go. It's a small if. Which I am going to assume. Well, I mean, I know is grass type because Brassius had one. Uh, interesting. It's apparently grass normal. Uh, I think Snarl might kill. Honestly. I can probably just throw a nest ball and catch it. Because it's level eight. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not that hard to catch. Level eight, especially with a nest ball. Uh, <laughs> this Pokemon converts nutrients into oil, which it stores in the fruit on its head. It can easily go a whole week without eating or drinking. Neat. Um, <laughs> not an ant at all, but <laughs> I feel, I feel the need to name it that. It's just the first thing I think of when I think small, all right? You know, it's... Anything new? Anything new in this field here? There's an item and a combi. I don't think I have a combi. Never come back. I wonder if Pokemon running away from you has anything to do with like the average level of your party or anything. Because it seems like in this area more Pokemon are running away. I'm just gonna lick it, see if I can get a para. Nice. It seems like in this area more Pokemon are running away, and that 
might be because, you know, my Pokemon are pretty overleveled for this area in general. I mean, obviously not. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's a bug type against a dark type. It can do that. Ah, it's fine. We'll just catch it with this nest ball. I don't know. I don't know if they run away more if you're higher level, because that I know that's a feature in other non Pokemon RPGs a lot of the times. Uh, oh, bite. Thank God. We needed a stab move that wasn't or that was physical. Uh, yes, get rid of Snarl. Yeah, I know there are other RPGs out there where the also I don't know why I actually caught this. This is a male, but <laughs> where the enemies will run away if you're a high enough level. But I, just, I don't know if they implemented that here. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar from flowers to please Vespaquen. Uh, yes, I will give it a name. This one, because it's a male. <laughs> Useless too. <laughs> Uh, and 4th Gen really did give us a lot of Pokemon that just aren't good, right? I mean, between Krikatot and Krikatoon and Combi, male Combi. <gasps> That's a female. No, 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 no. Come back. Hold on. But, okay. There we go. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. I, this one's slightly higher level. Uh, let's see if we can't get a lick off, get a para. No para, that's fine. Bug bite. Ow! Orenberry. Oh no, it's bug bite, so it ate the orenberry itself. Damn it. It heals. Ugh. Okay, we got the para. And honestly, that's probably all we need to catch it, really. So let's just throw the nest ball. Crit. <laughs> nice. All right. Very cool. Yep, 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 yep. Uh... <laughs> uh I mean, what else? Is it useful to have two L's? No, I think it's one. I'm gonna call it. No, I think it's two. Ugh, I can't remember. No, it's one. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put one L. We can fix it later. Useful two. We don't have a useful one, but let's not worry about it. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So I wanted to explore the south side of this path here. Uh, let's get to that Pokemon Center first before we do too much. Oh, that's a gimme ghoul. Gimme ghoul. All right. Uh, that's an Igly buff, which we definitely already have. There's an item over there. That's a Squabbit, which I do not care to deal with. Oh, that's a bunch of small live. Mm, there's a trainer here. I should heal Gracie. She's kind of low. I'll probably give her a new berry. Because... Uh, Fido, we already have. I will, I will battle this guy. I bought some delicious cake from Patisserie Soap Berry. Let's celebrate with a battle. Okay, but can I have some? <laughs> David. And your Fampy, which is a very cute Pokemon, which I believe wasn't in Sword and Shield, if I remember correctly. It was one of the notable Pokemon that was not there. Uh, let's bite. I'm pretty sure a bite will do quite well here. Yeah, that's a two-shot. 
Probably even after Defense Girl. What? Ow. Yep. Good job, Crazy. Do, 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 do. Wait, I wonder... I wonder if Gracie can learn Fang moves. Because that would be good. I kind of want to. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Um... Okay, the question is, do we do it now or later? Um... Because... These are really good coverage. <laughs> but we have two Ice Fangs, so we might as well use one now, right? Uh, we can get rid of Home Claws. Mm, yeah. Nice. Alright. And then... Yeah, look, a Jigglypuff. I mean, we don't have one, but we do have an Iggly buff, so I don't really need to catch that. Uh, anything, any, anything new around here? What's up, bud? How many battles do I need? Uh, I've defeated four, five. Okay, one more. I'll get there. But first, let's heal up. Do, 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 do. Cool. All right. Let's. Whoa! What was that? <laughs> now that we've healed up there, and us, presumably that means we can fly back there later. Uh, okay. I want to see. Wasn't there? Yes, right there. Yeah. So we're gonna. I can head south from here. Let's do that. And that'll put us... Uh, actually, no. Let's head... Let's head in the yellow direction. I did notice that they have marked the north, south, east, and west with a different color, which is actually very, very useful for people like myself who... Wait. No, I want to go in the blue direction. Damn it. <laughs> Not yellow, blue. Uh, and very useful for people like myself who often get their east and west mixed up. So. We are heading east now, but it's very, very easy for me to get confused on that point. Uh, Pokeball and Chestoberry. Uh, that's the guy we battled before. Uh, so far, not seeing anything crazy around here. You know, I almost wish, I almost went, wish we went this way first so that we could, uh, oh, hey, another trainer. So that we could get Gracie and have Ice Fang for the grass gym leader, but we did fine, so. I'm out getting my bug bug on a lot of experience. Good for you. But your bug Pokemon are going to die. Oh, it's a Krikatot. Yeah, I'm not even going to switch out for this one. I know this is type disadvantage, but it's Krikatot. <laughs> Bite it. Probably gets one shot here. Yep. <laughs> I wonder. I think I've only seen Intimidate on Mashif so far, but I wonder if it can possibly get Strong Jaw as well. Because I know that's an ability. Ah, oh, I bet I could have beat you if I had evolved my Pokemon. I mean, probably. It would be higher level. Uh, Krikatoon can probably beat Mashif, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. Lost my train of thought. Um, yeah. I don't know, it's... It would've been nice to have Firefang there. It's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, but I do like... It is a fun little feature and probably very convenient for 
the people writing the dialogue in these games. I have a happy me, right? Somewhere. Uh, I believe I do, because I think I remember making a big deal out of it. I do. Okay. Um. Ahem. A mass outbreak of Mareep. Uh. I I don't need him. I don't I don't need him. It's nice and all, but I don't need him. Uh huh. Okay, so we can go that way. Oh yeah, I was saying I. Uh, it is convenient for the writers of these games that Pokemon is the plural of Pokemon. <laughs> Because it means when you when a trainer says I'm out here training my bug Pokemon, it could just be one or it could be multiple. <laughs> and you don't have as a writer, you don't have to know which. It's convenient. Uh, OK, so the reason I wanted to explore the south area of this first is so that we could go this way and get back to, I believe it's area one of the South province. We have a rock rough, right? Yeah, we definitely, I mean, that that's a tiny rock rough. I kind of want it just because it's, okay, well, it's coming at me, so I might as well take it, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a smaller than average rock rough, so uh, let's lick it to try to para. Nope. Okay. That's fine. It would be more annoying. <laughs> Not that evasiveness needs to be any more annoying, but it would be more annoying <laughs> if e evasiveness also affected balls, like throwing Pokeballs at them. But thankfully, it doesn't. Also, it keeps double teaming, but I keep hitting, which is crazy. No, uh, uh, of course, as soon as I say something. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we just need one more. And hopefully a para. Okay, now we're good. And a sound, sand attack. <laughs> I forgot, the rock rough that the one guy used had this same move set, so I guess it makes sense. Crit. That's a crit. Uh, we have Mistrevis, right? We did. I remember. Did we lose a Mistrevis? I think we might have lost a Mistrevis. Uh, I think we read this. Anyway, we're going to call you... Uh, we're going to call you Yip, because you're small. And you Yip, probably. Okay, uh, do we have Mistrevis? Because I see one over there. I know we have a Ghastly. Or, yeah, Mistrevis is the first form. This Magius is the second. Uh, we do. It's Bench, right. Okay. Oh. Um. I'm not going to tackle this with Gracie. Let's throw Sir Prab up front. Okay, Mr. Scyther. I don't know what type you're turning into. Uh, normal? Alright, that's fine. That's... Yeah, okay. It's not a terrible Terra type for Scyther. Uh, also level 22. So we do have Rock Smash, but Rock Smash is actually kind of tricky to use against... Pokemon that are uh, that you're trying to catch. Double hit. Ooh, okay. It's not, a, it's not a bad move for a normal terror type Scyther. Okay. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, what? It touched the Metal Claw? Right. Do it again. Scyther evolves into Scyzor, which means, well, it, normally it does anyway. I don't know if that's tr true in Paldia as well. Uh, 
but Sizor could avoid some of its weaknesses by changing to normal. I mean, it's only weak to it's only weak to fire if I remember right. Yeah, if there's an incoming fire move, you could go Terra type normal. Wing attack, that's fine. Nice that it has a stab stab flying move. Uh, I'm concerned that another Metal Claw might kill it. Vice Grip is stronger though, so let's just go with Metal Claw. Also, you know, if we ever get access to return, that's... Normal Terra type return is gonna be real good. Oh, okay, well, it's not in the red, but apparently it was enough to break it out. Uh, we can rock smash it now, now that it resists. Fury Cutter, ow. Okay. So it's level 22, which means technically an Ultra Ball would be better than a Nest Ball here. But we also have Net Balls, which are good against bug types, so let's do that. Hit, 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 Got it. <sighs> yes. Good. Scyther. The sharp size on its forearms become increasingly sharp by cutting through hard objects. A very cool Pokemon, actually. One of the coolest Pokemon in Gen 1. Um, what do we call you? Uh, we're gonna call you... I mean, it's not really... <laughs> no, if we're evolving it, then that's a bad name. Um, let's see, let's see, um, you know what, we'll call you Ruby, there we go again, giving a, another normal person name, but it's a reference to Ruby Rose, <laughs> who uses a scythe. And uh, also, if we evolve it, then it'll actually be ruby colored ish. So it makes some sense to me. Uh, Scyther, very cool Pokemon. However, I'm pretty sure I've used one before. If not, I should have. Meditite. I don't think we have a Meditite. Do we have a Meditite? Hold on. Uh, we do not. Of course, I could just make this easier by just battling it. And, you know, if I don't have it, then it won't have the little Pokeball next to its name. But uh, let's use Cricket. Cricket will be fine. Yeah. I had so few polygons at first, but it's fine. Uh, oh, it's actually significantly higher leveled. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's struggle bug it and hope for the best. I mean, ow. Okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind that. Um, we're going to swap to Zapfish, who can hopefully get a pair on it. If you would, Zapfish, I would appreciate it. There we go. Oh, wait, what, what did it try to use? Whoops, that's not the move I wanted to use. I was just kind of mashing through the text there. That's fine. A little bit of health back. Love that. Uh, All right, so Thundershock, hopefully get a pair of Force Bomb. Did it miss? It missed, nice. That tiny bit of mischance on Force Bomb. Okay, I think we can do another Mud Slap and be fine and not kill it. Nice. Can't move because of Para. Ooh, 
okay, if that had crit, it would have killed. Not that it would have been a huge loss, I'm not the biggest fan of Meditite and or Metacham, but... Uh, let's throw... Just regular Pokeball, I guess. I mean, Nest Ball, Nest Ball would still be better, but... Oh, crit. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter when we crit. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. It meditates to heighten its inner energy and to float in the air. It eats one berry a day. Wow. Well, I mean, when you're two feet tall and weigh 25 pounds, I, you could probably survive off one berry. That's not too... I mean, considering the size of these berries. <laughs> anyway. Uh... You are... Makes more sense when it evolves. But you are... Yoga Pants. And yes, that's another reference. <laughs> I'm just full of references, you know. <laughs> Originality? What's that? <laughs> uh, okay. Grab this. Oh, hey, yeah, let's heal Cricket up. And probably throw Gracie back in front. Uh, oh, Toxel. Do we have a Toxel? I don't think we have a Toxel. I only saw a Toxel in Scarlet. Oh, wait, we do have a Toxel. It's Fairy type, Terror type, which is pretty neat. Uh, hello. Is it me or are the Pokemon around here way too strong? We should probably turn back, huh? Nah, I'm good. I mean, if you're feeling like they're a little strong, then maybe you should go, but me, I'm fine. Good intimidate. Uh level 15. Okay, yeah. We can we can handle this. Throw a nice fang at it. Get it. Nice. It is neat. Neat that they let you zoom in. Kind of wish they let you zoom in on your own Pokemon, though. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we could just finish it with the tackle. Yeah, was a good idea to give Gracie Ice Fang. And I'll probably give her the other Fangs later, but for now, we'll stick with this. That was a shadow. Guess I'd be fine out here if I were as strong as you are. Yeah, I mean, I got... It helps to have six Pokemon. Oh, there's that shadow again. Oh, it's a shadow of a... Skiddo up there. Alright. <gasps> Pachirisu. You already have one. And it's running. Uh, they always run, if I remember right. Uh, let's check the map. Where are we? We are. Okay, so we can wrap around there. Oh, there's Fampy around here. Okay. I want one of them. Uh, Toxel, Staravia, Deerling, Mashif. Oh, there's an item over there. That is a tiny Toxel. I want it. I don't know why, it's functionally the same as any other Toxel, but the fact that it's tiny makes me want it. Uh, yeah, let's just go with a bite. This thing is a lot stronger than we are, level-wise anyway. Toxel in general is pretty fragile, but... Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe we swap to Zapfish? Stop fish. Mudslap shouldn't kill. We're not gonna get a parry because it's electric type and you can't paralyze an electric type. Not anymore. You used to be able to. But you used to and then I think at one point you could only paralyze it with moves that weren't electric type. Yeah, like glare. Glare I think was the only move that could paralyze. Glare and lick, stuff like that. Uh, so let's, so this will be 80 power roughly, 
versus might kill. Well, it's water gun. Okay. Probably would have been fine with mud slap, but flail. It's fine for now. <gasps> Real loop. I want that. Okay. Uh, and then Thundershock should do slightly less. Nuzzle can't pair us. Okie dokie. Good job, that fish. I want that real loop. Uh, why did I go to the bag? I can just press X. Uh, yeah, just throw a Pokeball. Gotta get rid of these somehow. Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> He's just staring at me. Yes, you're next, Riolu. Don't, don't worry. All right, try this again. Uh, Pokeball, go. <laughs> Sir, or madam, I didn't actually check. Yeah, no, sir. Uh, oh, you know what? We have a repeat ball. We can, we can use that. That'll be better. That's a crit. <laughs> of course. Doesn't matter what ball you use when you crit. <laughs> All right. I am just going to call you tiny because you are, in fact, tiny. All right, you, sir. Uh, we're gonna fight. I'm gonna catch you. Cause Lucario is very cool. I used to main him in Smash. Uh, what do we wanna do for damage though? Uh, double kick probably. Ow. Okay, well, when you're doing that, <laughs> oh, that was a crit, huh? All right, never mind. Uh, could go Jolene, but Jolene I think will be too strong. So Zapfish, Zapfish also can para, which is nice. Let's go. Rock smash, that's fine. Static please? No, okay. Then we will thunder shock it. Woo, okay, that was more damage than I was expecting. Para? No para. Oh, if we had used a physical move, that would have been bad. Uh, okay, Riolu evolves by friendship, if I remember correctly, so luxury ball it is. Now stay in the ball. I only have one of these. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You can really get close with this. I should use that more. That, that would be useful for thumbnails. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we use next? Uh, yep. We're just storing regular Pokeballs then. Catch. No? Okay. That's fine. Pork up. That is also fine. One more time. This time it'll crit. Wasn't a crit. And also didn't work. Static. Give static. No? Okay. Pokeball, go. Once more. Sir. Sir. You're in the red. <laughs> this should work. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> All right. Uh, it 
has the peculiar power of being able to see emotions such as joy and rage in the form of waves. All right, Riolu, we are going to name you. See, if you were a girl, I'd name you Susan, but we're going to name you <laughs> Nasses. It, you, if you play League, you know. What? They share an inspiration. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, got ourselves a Riolu, and we'll go ahead and catch more Pokemon. Hold on, I'm going to heal my Pokemon uh, next time. But as for this episode, that's a wrap. Very cool.